If you are pained by any external thing, it is not this thing that disturbs you, but your own judgment about it. And it is in your power to wipe out this judgment now. But, so all the time I'm doing that, um, the messages to the flexors are growing in number and the pathways are widened. So they're flooded with, um, with extra sort of, oh, tighten, tighten, tighten. So my arm now is, you know, even worse having taken a sip of water than it was prior. Um, so a lot of the time, um, it's trying not to think about it. A lot of the time, you know, I'll, I'll sit on it and I'll just, it's not comfortable, it's painful, but it's out of the way, it's not doing any harm. Uh, 1996, I had the uh, road traffic accident uh, where I was walking home from school and I was hit by two cars. Uh, so that uh, doesn't colour th color things, but it um, impacts things um, and uh, pre-injury. Um, there's pretty much nothing. Um, you know, there might be the odd glimpse of oh, Star Wars, you know, or Lego, Lego, <laughs> Lego, Lego model, or, or you know, um, yeah, odd sort of random sort of snippets. I was nagged uh, by my friend Mark to come climbing with them. You know, and they lived right next door to the climbing wall. Oh, come climbing, come climbing. And it was, it was incessant. And I just thought, you know, how am I going to do this? You know, I haven't got great core strength or, you know, um, balance. And I've got no use of this arm. In my brain, it was like, oh, it's a non-starter, I won't go. But <laughs> he was so insistent that eventually I said, hey, yeah, I'll come. <laughs> So when I'm on the wall, you're, you're thinking about how to, how to progress up the wall or on some sort of bolder scenarios across. Um, and my mind just, just finds a zone, a bit like my art, where anything external is pushed to the side. Um, and yeah, I, I, lo I, I love it. And then again, it's just sort of trying to get my fingers to try and some, some sort of conformity so if they go in like this um, your more tension is on one particular digit so try and with your left hand at least try and get them at least to, to conform to the same position so there's a nice hold here and then you can switch into a, a left so so um the we had we, there were there were a few um g b climbers at the at the wall where I climb at um and the coach g b coach um robin o'leary um he didn't pull me aside but one, one day he said oh you should try out you know i've seen you climb you're okay um and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> um, uh, but, but I didn't have the confidence. Um, I went to a, a para climbing um, group up in London. Yeah, it just felt like I was home. That then gave me the confidence and the awareness of when the sort of para training days were, when the competitions were. Um, and it's 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 very much through that interaction that I then went, um, you know, headed up to, I think it was, you know, Edinburgh or um, for the nationals. Um, we're classed as um, semi-professional athletes, um, 
so there's no sort of lottery money or there's no sort of big big grants um, and so we're, we're self-funded um, there are, there are lots of times when I think you know shall I knock this on the head because I can't I can't I can't now afford to go my, my uncle and aunt in fact um, really sort of pushed me to set up a GoFundMe page and that that raised some money which enabled me to go to Russia this year so it was a world championship um, so that 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 is the sort of the most important meet of the year and that's where your your ranking is based on um, so I placed seventh in my category which means that you know, I'm seventh in the world, um, and yeah, despite that, um, you know, my brain says, "Oh, you only came seventh. You know, you didn't podium, you didn't get through to the final. Ah, you only came seventh. But it's it's your coaches who say, mm, "You're seventh in the world, though." <laughs> you know, and it's it's just about re reframing that sort of, and, and and I was very very close to sort of to giving up then, but it, it it's it's then that I thought, okay, if I if I want to do this again. I've got to actually devote some time to this. I've got to actually commit to this, and and it's, yeah, it's a funnily, I can remember that actual instance where I where I where I thought, okay, I've got to, yeah, I've got to actually do this mm -hmm. um, to see what's what's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do I pronounce it again? <laughs> Seneca. Seneca. So Seneca says, um, no person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. Um, <laughs> yeah, it just felt quite sort of, yeah, fitting. <laughs>